Hello, I'm Faris, and welcome to another session of My Thoughts On. Today's upcoming movie, I'm going to be talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. After the disappointment reception of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Sony Pictures and Marvel Studios partner up to bring Spider-Man to the MCU, starting with Captain America Civil War and the upcoming solo adventure, Spider-Man Homecoming. The casting of Tom Holland was great. He did an amazing job portraying both Peter Parker and Spider-Man in Civil War. Marvel never miscast great characters, so I'm glad Tom Holland did the role justice, and to be honest, he and Andrew Garfield portrayed Spider-Man accurately to the comics. Now that Spider-Man Homecoming's in post-production and two first trailers are already out, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on the upcoming movie. The trailer for this film is amazing. I love it from the tone and feel. We see that Peter is in high school again and he's dealing with his life on becoming Spider-Man and how he wants to be the hero, as well as facing his responsibility as a high school student. On the other hand, gets help from his mentor, Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. This movie seemed to have the feel of The Breakfast Club and the first Spider-Man movie combining as one, as well as adding Iron Man to the film, which I think is a great move. I love seeing the supporting characters like Liz Allen and Ned Leeds, even though these two characters were Caucasian in the comics, but I'm still curious how these actors are going to portray these supporting characters. It looks like they are taking inspiration from the spectacular Spider-Man series. The Vulture looks amazing and intimidating in this trailer. Michael Keaton is a good actor. He lives as Batman, he's great in Birdman, I think he's gonna nail Vulture. And I'm also waiting to see how Shocker performs in this movie. I think Adrian Toomes is probably the one hiring him. So far, I think this movie is going to be one of the best Spider-Man movies yet, and it's also one of my anticipated movies in 2017. As much as I love seeing the previous Spider-Man movies like the first Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, and The Amazing Spider-Man, I want this movie to be as good as the three I mentioned. And as a Spider-Man fan, I'm hoping to see every spectacular things in this movie when it hits theaters July 7, 2017. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe and see more videos on my thoughts on or other videos like my geek vlog.